Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. I am Shubham and you are watching Let's Create an App. So we are continuing the previous tutorial which we have left over here in which I have just designed a UI view. Now we will design a collection view in this tutorial and we will uh, make a detailed controller of every cell of this collection view as we have in a demo application. So let's look into the demo first. So this is a demo application. So we have achieved this thing. Now we will create this collection view. As we click on any of the cell, uh, this new view controller will present in which image is there. And this controller is not uh, pushed. It will present modly with some other style, not a uh, usual style that coming from the bottom. So we will learn this thing in this tutorial. And as I click, uh, change the orientation, this uh, the layout of this screen is also changes that 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 uh, cross button is comes from the top from bottom over here so we will learn this thing in this tutorial so let's look of where we have left so we have left over here now let's run this thing and check that it is working fine or not first and then we will proceed further in this tutorial so uh, our application is running now now let's check that it is working fine or not. So it's working fine. Now let's change the orientation. And as we change the orientation, it will change the UI as we have seen the same thing in the demo application like this. Now let's design the uh, collection view first. Now let's make this cell a little bit longer. And we have one image and one label in that collection view cell. So let's take one image and put this image in this collection view cell and we can uh, do one thing like we can create uh, very few traits for this collection view also but uh, let's check that it is coming as same in the collection view in portrait and landscape or different size classes we can design these screens differently for portrait and landscape or for different size classes uh, by using very four traits but uh, uh, this collection view is coming similarly in both the application so let's look in the landscape that it is coming correctly or not so it's coming correctly as we uh, saw in the portrait so we can define only a single constraints for both the orientation of for any size class so let's give the constraint to this uh, image view so before uh, giving constraints to this image view let's place uh, one label also so now this is a label and let's first give the constraints to this label so from bottom it is zero and from here it is just like uh, zero and uh, like zero and the height is 30 like this and the text should be center the background color if you want to give a light green color which we have at the top you can give that or something else if you want to give like this and the text color is white so it's cool now let's make it a little bit bigger now give the constraints to this image view and the constraints for the image view are zero from all the four sides it should be zero like this now let's uh, switch the orientation landscape orientation and as we switch the landscape orientation it's it is working fine as it is working fine in the portrait mode so we don't need to define the constraints for portrait and landscape differently or size classes differently we can uh, work on single uh, single constraints in a collection view or table view if you want to give different then you can uh, do the same now let's uh, Let's give this, take the outlets for this collection view and uh, uh, do some coding regarding this collection view. If you don't know how to set up the collection view, please watch my collection view series in which you will get all the idea how I created collection view, how we can add the cell, delete the cell and all the other functionalities related to the collection view. Till then, uh, I am setting up the collection view. So now I've completed all the setup for the collection view. Uh, you can uh, take this file and check and you can define your uh, cell size according to your need and you can learn this thing by my video. The link was in description as well as on the i button. And uh, 
Now let's run this thing and check that it is working fine or not. So collection view is one of the basic functionality of any IIS application. Uh, you must know how to populate with collection view. So my device was in landscape mode, so it's working fine in landscape. Only the color is green, so we can change this thing. And in portrait mode, uh, it is working fine again with all the functionalities working correctly. Now, first thing we have to do is like we have to change the color of this label whenever user change the orientation. So for that thing, let's let's change the orientation of this thing. So now let's define the color for this label. Just click on this plus button and click on this add variant and on CC variant, we have to add this red color. So that's all what we have to do. And now let's run again and check that it is working fine or not. Now we have to create a functionality which we have see in the demo application. Let's check that. So it's working good. It's working completely fine. Now let's make these cells clickable and present these uh, images in a bigger format with the cross button so that we can work on that part now let's change it to portrait again now let's create one and another controller and drag and drop view control on this on this uh, storyboard now let's take one image view and uh, place the image view all on all over the screen just simply like this and place the constraint from all the four sides it should be zero like this now let's place one button so now let's place the button over here uh, if you noticed in the demo that uh, we we have this button on the different places in the landscape and in the portrait mode so means the size classes in the different size classes so we need to place the constraint for this button by using vary for traits. So first let's fix the height and width. If you want to change the height and width of this button on different orientations, then even you can use the vary for traits for height, fixing height and width constraints. But I only want to change the position. So I'm just using vary for traits for just changing the position of these this button. So let's make this button uh, from the bottom it's 40 and uh, it should be center horizontal like this so the constraints for the button are set up now let's change the title and the title should be like X or close or you can use some uh, custom image for this thing and the text, text color should be like white and the background color should be like black as we have in the demo now we want uh, just done just click on done varying now let's move to the landscape and as we move on the landscape the constraint for this button are just only height and width which we have set for a universal thing not a specific size class now let's uh, create the constraints for the specific size class so first let make this thing come in the view and now we have to set this constraint over here so just click on vary foot rates and uh, just select height and width now to set the constraints for this button so the constraints are like 40 and 20 that's a good so that's that's cool that's completely fine now let's change the background color if you want to change the background color but i don't want to change the background color then it's completely fine also now let's uh, change the orientation again now let's create one more class by just simply cl clicking on window plus n and just click on cocoa touch class and give the name to, to detail view control detail view controller and click on next and click on create so something like this now let's move to the view controller and we have a method let's run this thing and right now we are not able to move to the view controller because we didn't place the navigation controller on this view controller so let's place the navigation controller on this controller first just click on editor click on embedding and click on navigation controller 
so we place navigation controller on this view controller now let's cre create a seek uh, we are using coding for moving data from one controller to the another controller this seek is created just to get the navigation controller at the top of this view controller only now let's click on this view controller and here we have to write one method the one delegate method of collection view that is did uh, uh, select yeah did select item at in this we have to write the coding for that detail view controller to get the detail view controller so let vc is equals to storyboard dot in it initialization control with identification and now we have to pass the identification as well as we didn't pass the view controller class to that view controller so select this view controller move to this tab and here we have to pass the detail view controller now give the storyboard id to this view controller also and that's that's fine that's what we have to do now now move to the view controller and the id which we have set it over there we have to pass that id over over here this detail view controller and make this detail view this we see as a detail view controller like this now we have to create the uh, pass the image and title on the next view controller we can say that we only need to pass the image on the next view controller so for that we have to create the outlets for these image view and this button so that we can dismiss this view controller on the click of this button now just click on this uh, image view and just write the image img and just click on this button and this is a button close button close just make the action for this button also so that uh, we don't need to come to storyboard again and again for all this thing so on click button close something like this after that we have to dismiss this uh, presented controller on this click so we can simply write dismiss and the animation is true and the completion handle is nil like this we have to round this uh, close button the button with on user have clicked so button close dot layer dot corner radius is equals to 20 because we have given the height of this button to 40 so we have to change take the uh, corner radius half of the height height and width must be equal then only it will come in circular format so button dot clip to bound is equals to true something like this now we have to create one property over here to get the image so where image image user is equals to ui image kind of a thing and in the view did load we have to set the image dot image is equals to image user like this so whatever image we pass from back so the uh, image coming from previous controller so this image user image will be coming from the previous controller and we are setting this user image in this image view that is this one so now let's uh, why it's showing an error that okay i have some done some coding mistake some spelling mistake that's why this issue is coming now let's move to this view controller and on the click of this cell we have to pass vc dot image this one don't get confused in this image view and this image we have to pass the image not the image view so we have to use this ui image and in this we have to pass the image so ui image and in this we have to use this named method and in this we have to use this name array and in this index path dot row this should return optional so we have to wrap this thing after that we see or we can say that we have to uh, push present this controller so navigation controller dot present like this and then this we have to pass vc animation is true and completion handler is nil we can also do like we don't need to use this navigation controller we can simply use present method also 
like this we don't need to use this uh, navigation controller for presenting any con any controller or any view now the pro uh, this is built it now let, let's check that it is working fine or not so it's working fine in both the orientation now now let's click on any of the cell so as i'm clicking on this thing uh, this is coming uh, in the stretched format so for let's change this thing to aspect fit so select the image and make it to aspect fit and uh, let's see, let's check that uh, the button is uh, working fine or not so it's working fine and uh, let's change the orientation and it, this button is completely coming at a place where we want but the animation is not animation is not working fine it's coming from the bottom not uh, this is a normal animation it's not something which we have shown in the demo application so so let's move to the home let's move to the home and this is a demo application so there is an animation just something which is not presenting from the bottom so we are going to change this thing in the in our application uh, so this is like something like this which is not looking cool so and even we can check this thing in the landscape mode also like this we have already checked that thing now let's uh, create this thing so first we have to do like we have to select this view controller and we have to move to this transition style and we have to just change this thing to cross dissolve nothing more than that we have to write anything that's the only thing which we have to do now let's run this thing again and check that uh, we get this image in a proper aspect fit as well as uh, the animation which we are getting from the present uh, mode is it working fine or not so let's check first in the portrait mode so the animation which we getting is now good and it's as same as we have in the demo application now let's change it to the landscape mode and uh, let's check click on any of the image and it's looking cool and the button is also coming in the left uh, top corner so that's that is really very cool functionality it's very easy also and uh, you can create any kind of ui by using this uh, the same functionality like this so so this is for today uh, if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the like button and please don't forget to uh, follow me on instagram uh, facebook the all the links are mentioned in the description thank you